guys, my name is Lauren, and welcome back to my channel. Sorry guys if it looks like I just got out of bed because, um, <laughs> I did. Anyway, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be trying out a Japanese product that I know a lot of people know about, but it's called Pop and Cookin, and it's like this Japanese DIY candy kit, and I've never done a DIY candy kit ever, like from Japan or America. But anyway, I really like kawaii things and things from Japan, and I don't know, I just think they're so cute. Like seriously, look at this little kitty. It's like the cutest little kitty I've ever seen. I named him Mochi, and he's like, oh my god, he's so cute. Okay. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to be trying the ramen kit, and so yeah, I'm super excited. Some people say that they think they taste good, and some people say that they think they taste disgusting, so who knows? All right, well, I'm gonna stop rambling now, and I'm just gonna get on with this video. Okay, guys, so here is my ramen poppin' cooking kit. It looks super duper cute on the front, but on the back, the instructions are not in English, so I had to look them up on the internet, of course. So here are the contents. There's like different packets for the soup, the noodles, and like the filling, and just all sorts of stuff like that. First, I'm going to take out the little tray and I'm going to cut the pieces apart. Okay, next I'm taking out this little bag and there are like some measurements on here for what I'm supposed to be doing for the soft candy clay looking stuff. And there's like two little small dots and then a big circle that I'm supposed to measure them with. There's my soft candy and it totally feels like clay and it smells good too. It really looked like I was just taking a high chew out and like squishing it up with my fingers. I'm just kneading it and making it a little bit softer so it'll be easier to measure it and to put it into those two little teeny balls and then also the round flat circle. Now I'm just breaking off a tiny little piece and rolling it into a ball and placing it on that first circle. And then I'm doing the same except for a little bit smaller and placing it on the second circle. Now I'm taking that remaining clay and I'm kneading it a little bit more and breaking it in half because we are going to make two little pastry taco looking thingies. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call them for right now. <laughs> I'm just flattening out the clay and making it so that it matches the circle on the plastic bag and then I'm doing the same thing a second time. Now I'm taking a little pastry taco mold and I'm placing my first flat circle on top of that and just pressing it in. This is kind of a struggle because the clay soft candy stuff was sticking to my fingers a ton and it kept like getting pulled up every time I'd move my hand so that was awesome. Next I'm taking this little package and it has the filling for the taco pastry looking thing. And I'm just filling it. And I'm making sure to leave a little bit of extra for my second one. Then I'm pressing this together. And I'm going to open it back up. And there you go. I thought they were so, so, so cute. And like, they turned out so perfect. Now I'm just going to repeat the same steps again. Oh my gosh, second time, just so cute, so cute. Now I'm taking this little round tub and I'm filling it to the line with some water. This is going to be the broth for the ramen. Next, I'm just taking this little packet and I'm snipping off the corner and then I'm just going to dump the entire thing into the little bowl. I was told this was supposed to be soda flavored, so I hope it is, because soda's bomb. And there it's all mixed up. And in the second little tub, I'm going to do the same thing, fill it to the line with water. Except for this time, I'm going to put in this little yellow jello stuff and I'm just going to mix it up with a little fork. This is going to be the noodles. Now I'm taking a toothpick and I am shoving it in the corner, wrong corner, Lauren. There's an arrow pointing to the right corner. There we go, there we go, right corner. And then I'm just shoving that through 
to make like a little piping bag. And then I'm just going to put all the yellow mixture stuff in there. And now it's time to pipe the little noodles in. It was actually super fun doing this, but I did not think that they would turn out very well, but they ended up looking exactly like cute little ramen noodles, except for right there when I just like held it there. Now there's just like a little blob, like good job, Lauren. Gosh, fail. Now I just took those two little candy clay balls and I am mushing them into the little molds for the decorations for the ramen. And it took forever to get them out, but once I finally got them out, they look like this, super cute. And then I'm just putting the leftover noodle stuff in the little indents. They look literally so horrible, especially the egg. Like I tried so hard to fix the egg. Like it just, it just did not work. I was trying so hard. <laughs> And there's the finished product. I think they look pretty cute, but they definitely do not look like the package. But I mean, I didn't really expect it to either, but I think it looks fine. Hey guys, I'm back. And here's my beautiful masterpiece. It looks pretty bad. It doesn't look like the picture. But the real question is, how does it taste? So first I'm going to try these little noodle things that hardened surprisingly I didn't think they would because they looked so liquidy but they actually hardened so let's give them a try um the noodles literally taste like I'm eating a mix of medicine and rubber ew those are so gross. Okay, now let's just try the broth. It's not that good. It tastes like I'm literally eating medicine. Eating and drinking medicine. <laughs> That's gross. Okay, now these little guys look super cool. It literally looks like I was putting Pop Rocks in clay. So, let's do these because these look super duper cool. And I, I want these to be good so bad. I want them to be so good, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, these are better. It tastes like maybe bubble gum on the outside and on the inside is just like this kind of sour candy. Okay, I like these. I'm gonna eat these. Now let me try this little egg thing. They taste like bubble gum. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Love ya!